how is PCOS diagnosed and treated? Uh, the diagnosis of PCOD is, uh, the gold standard is ultrasound, uh, the pelvic ultrasound, which has to be done by the transvaginal route. And once it shows the multiple immature follicles, which are uh, diagnostic of uh, PCOD, the patients are advised hormonal profile and based on the hormonal profile, their treatment is started. The basic treatment, the first thing which is explained to everyone is that their lifestyle has to be modified. Weight gain, if their weight control is extremely important, maintaining an ideal weight with the help of diet, exercise, rest and uh, proper sleep is very, very, very important. Secondly, we move to the treatment part by medication. The most important medicine in this is depending on the re lab reports of hormones in which uh, there is lack of progesterone, excessive of estrogen most commonly, patients are prescribed hormonal therapy. The uh, cyclical therapy which is in the form of birth control pills helps to regularize the hormonal levels, brings down the androgen levels, brings down the raises the progesterone levels leading to a comfortable uh, weight loss also. So it benefits the patients in two ways. It regularizes their cycle and it helps in weight loss also. Then there are some patients who are more eager to conceive. For these kind of patients, we also give ovulation induction pills. Sometimes with these ovulation induction pills, the patients conceive uh, in the very first cycle also because the main problem is that ovulation is not occurring. Then there is, uh, in, based on the lab reports, if the patients are insulin resistant, resistant, then oral metformin really helps with these patients. But it, uh, the oral metformin has to be given in a lower dose than which is given to the diabetics and with oral metformin also patients uh, do lose weight and respond uh, in a very good manner but everything has to be decided only based on the lab reports and in case the patient is not willing to go in for hormonal therapy we do use um, uh, myo inositol and chiro inositol combination which also helps in uh, proper ovulation. This is the non-hormonal therapy also, but it has to be continued for three to six months to give good results. And for the excessive hair growth, for, for which the girls are quite concerned, we do uh, prescribe e fluornithine cream, which helps in uh, this control of the excessive hair growth and they have to go in for other hair removal methods. Mm -hmm.